Rucksack to my bag. It's duty free price, I can resist. <laughs> But um, we're here and it's lovely and sunny and we've got an early flight so it's actually only about half past 11 so we should be in our resort by lunchtime. Considering we got like three hours sleep last night and yeah. we've got about four to five minutes in the place. We did, we've got a little nap there. Me too. So I'm excited, it's our first holiday together. Yay! The great thing about travelling all inclusive with a package holiday like Thompson or First Choice is that they have your transfer, transport, a transport as well chucked in. So you just go to one of these people and we're going to go to a bus station and um, it's really, really easy. So, oh my god, you scared the life out of me. Benji! heart-shaped pool that's the infinity pool I think we're gonna be there most of the time although they do have entertainment and stuff down there that's the restaurant yeah isn't it nice we don't have a bath but we do have a shower looks pretty nice we are here we are staying in Hovama Costa Adeke I was calling it a DJ for ages and in my packing video um, until I was corrected. Well, it's spelled, in my defense, it's spelled with a J. It's, it's spelled with a D and a J. Costa a D, a D, a K, apparently. Um, so we uh, have unpacked and we've got a room, we've had lunch and all that fun stuff. And we're gonna go and get some snacks for our room. We're all inclusive, but we just want some like Pringles and some bits we can snack on in the evenings. Please tell me I'm not the only one who just loves browsing all these like things when you go on holiday. I just love, I really want some more anklets. Not that I haven't got enough on my ankle already, but I just love looking at all the bits. <laughs> just me. <laughs> I love maxi bonds, so we're gonna get one. This one. Yes. Why don't they sell these in the UK? They're so good. We have found fidget spinners even in Tenerife. <laughs> That's insane. <laughs> All right, so this is like a two minute walk to the beach. And Tenerife is obviously um, a volcanic island. So the sand is not white sand. They call it black sand actually. Should we go and have a look? Yeah. Which way down there? Mm. These look really cute. Yeah. Benji and I are huge lovers of mini golf and we have found this course and we're up for a game. So let's play. Who's gonna win? Definitely not me. Yeah, he's winning his plan. He is winning his plan. I hate losing. No, we'll play. I used to feel your arms around me. Oh dear.
Okay, so we've discovered strawberry daiquiri slushies. So they're going down nicely. And this is my current view. I cannot complain. We've got an infinity pool here. That's the sea. And it's like quarter to six. Are you laughing at me? <laughs> that's the sea. Well, that's how close we are. <laughs> this is a palm tree. <laughs> This is the sky. All right. Be hey. Yeah, this is really nice. Okay, so this is. Let's find out what's on Monday. Here you go. This is tomorrow. Fashion show. <laughs> aqua gym. What time's aqua gym? I'm totally doing that. 12 o'clock. Okay. Oh, I love a good game. Oh, water polo. You're going to be good at that. There's a quiz. Johnny Circus. What's on tonight then? Rolling Stones tribute. Oh, one, of the, one of the Billie Jean. Billie Jean as well. Good morning. It's our first proper day. Technically second day. I have a hangover. Got too drunk last night, didn't I? Yeah, that's what happens when you have all inclusive cocktails. It was one of the best nights. We played cards on our deck. We could hear the music downstairs. Um, and we watched Line of Duty in bed and it was amazing. Loved it. Just gone downstairs to reserve our sunbeds because that's what you do as Brits, don't you? Reserved our sunbeds. And it is about quarter to nine. So let's get Benji up. We are off for breakfast and it's our first breakfast and I'm really hoping that they have omelettes or pancakes or something yummy. You alright? Yeah. Just keep omelettes. Eggs. Keep omelette, yeah. Eggs. See what it's they got. Eggs, eggs, Same. Maybe. I just wanted to show you what it's like in the evenings when the sun sets. Oh, it's so nice. I forgot to show my outfit last night, so I thought I'd show you this is what I'm wearing tonight. This is from Primark. These are from Zara. Primark shoes. You ready for dinner? Yeah. Let's go. Before we go for dinner, we thought we'd go for a little walk again and go left because we went right yesterday. See what's down here. Maybe go on the beach, take some pickies. If you watch my weekly vlogs, um, look what I have found. <laughs> I'm not kidding you, they are more expensive here in Tenerife, but not by much. I can't grabbed, believe I found them. Grabbed this. me and squealed, oh my god, my goodness! They're the ones I buy in Primark all the time. <laughs> it's actually really nice around here, isn't it? Yeah, there's a really cheap as well. It is 20 past seven, and it is 27 degrees. It's a 27 degrees. Not a cloud in the sky. Oh, Bench, can we ride one of these? Yes. It's your size. <laughs> Do you know what? I genuinely love one of these. This is nice. This beach is so nice. This is called Playa La Pinta. Hang on, let me show you that. Are you laughing at my pronunciation? No, I've been talking Playa La Pinta. What's wrong with that? Playa. Playa? Playa? Playa. Okay, whatever. Here's the beach. Oh. Maybe I should take my sandals off. Oh wow, this soft's quite this soft's quite sand. This sand's really soft. Tell me how sand this soft is. It's really sandy soft. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> really? Oh. <gasps> They've got one of these inflatable courses. We have one of these at home in the new forest. Yeah. There's gonna be one in um, Croatia when I go. This looks cool. Wow, this is so nice, isn't it? We are down at the marina, which is really cute. A little bit windy though. <laughs> bit of a mishmash dinner, but I've got steak and pasta, potatoes, and a tiny bit of lettuce and cucumber, because this is all I wanted. And I've got a white wine spritzer, Benji's got some orange juice, I think, or Fanta, Fanta. And this is like the dinner area. Let me pan around. We like sitting out here normally, but there wasn't any space today. I don't think I've vlogged yet this morning, but I've just done 45 minutes of aqua aerobics in the pool, which was good. And now they're doing sangria making. Having a nice time. It was great. It's just chilling, no yeah. worries. It's just it's nice, isn't it? We're going to Cyan Park tomorrow. We're in a different pool today, so at this one. Yay! Oh, 
That's Benji there. He's going to play at water polo. I'm excited to watch this. Definitely can't do wheels, wheels, wheels tonight. Wow! <laughs> wow! 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 Is there anybody from Ireland? <laughs> Ireland, Ireland, Ireland. <laughs> we just watched some fireworks, which was very spontaneous. What have you done? Just, just throwing the room around. Great. I accidentally my charger. <laughs> that, was, that was very spontaneous and nice, and now we're going to bed. <laughs> Good morning everybody. It is half past nine and Benji and I are off to Siam Park today. We are going courtesy of Attraction Stickers Direct who are sponsoring this part of this video. So big thank you to them for working with me. But today we have tickets which we have already got from them online in the UK. So we pre-ordered them. We've got an all-inclusive van which basically allows us to fast track a lot of the rides today and we get free food and drink, all inclusive. So that's gonna be really fun. So first up, we have already had breakfast and we've just walked literally five minutes down from our hotel to an area where there is a free bus to Siam Park which is great they do free buses in loads of the resorts here in Tenerife so be sure to check out in your hotel because they'll let you know where the free bus is but I'm really really excited so I'm going to link below attractions ticket direct they are the best place to get all your tickets I've been looking at them for Orlando and Florida tickets when I go in September yes yeah, so I'm going to show you where the bus is it's just here so here's the bus stop it's very easy to get it which is great I don't know if you can see but up there in the top right corner that is normal ticket 119 euros booking hours in advance was 99 euros which is great all inclusive includes entrance tickets preferred access to attractions locker tower limited all inclusive search we're here we're so excited we just got to find our locker we've got our tickets and we've got our van super easy but it's just a little bit busy right now. Oh. Hmm. Wow. Oh my gosh. There's fish in the water. <laughs> wow. Yes. Look at the theming. Oh my god. Oh, there's sun lounges too for us to chill out later. Wow, look how cool that is. Wow, that's the Tower Power. Okay, so we're not going to be able to film on this one. Whoa, did you see that? That's the Tower of Power. Look! <laughs> you go through that tank. Oh! <laughs> We've got our sun cream on. We've got our stuff in a locker. And we're going to go on Tower of Power first, which is Benji's idea. Because it's going to get really busy throughout the day. And we're not allowed our GoPro on it. So I will catch you after. I'm really nervous. Oh my god, we just did Tower of Power. Did you like it? It was so quick. It was so quick. It was so, so good. Definitely, girls, wear a swimming costume. Like, my bottoms went right up, but it was so good. What I really wanted to be able to do was open my eyes and see the fish tank, but you're going so quick, you can't, but... The views the top, so nice. So nice, yeah. Can you hear all the water slides? They're so cool, so lush here. Um, we're gonna go on the dragon next. It's a lot of walking, isn't it? We're yeah, gonna burn a few calories the, today. The scenery, like around everything, is really nice. Yeah. Like Thai theme. Thai theme, it's really cool. Ah, fast pass. That was 
was a real draw when we were both backwards. <laughs> Oh my god. We definitely got travel insurance, right? <laughs> yes. Oh no, this is like a kid's lost city. That actually looks really fun. <laughs> Here we go, Wave Palace. Oh my goodness. Wow, this is huge. Let's see if we can find some in the shade, Bench. On our all inclusive vans, we both picked up another Copperberg some water, uh, chips, a pizza slice, and I've got a burger in here as well. And that all came to, what, 35 pounds? Yeah. Which we obviously didn't pay for, because we've got our bands. So this is amazing. And we've got a view here of the wave machine, which is awesome. Oh my god, look at the cues we're skipping. <laughs> like a really fast bowl thing wasn't it yeah so good so now we're gonna do the lazy river that looks so good so how do we get there oh wow this is so nice mini market River. My Thai My Rapids. Thai Rapids, yeah. And it was really good because there was a little ride in it, which we were not expecting. But going through that shark tank is really cool. I definitely recommend stick to the left hand side. When you see people bunched up, stick to the left and they'll take you through the little yeah. shark tank. But yeah, I've got a hole in my swimming costume, which is not ideal. And we need some more sun cream. So we're going to run back to our locker, change and sun cream up. And then we're going to get a drink, I think. Um, because we're on an all-inclusive Also, band. when you go and find the Lazy River, don't do what we did and do three laps of the park. No, you go through the shops. You're going to see a change of bikini now, which is not... Jump cut. I'm glad I brought it with me, to be honest. <laughs> yeah, let's go. I've changed my bikini. We are sun creamed up. And Ben's just picked us up some copper bags. Yes. Cheers. It's so good. This is on our all-inclusive and it's huge. So nice. Oh, Oh my 
<laughs> that was epic! Oh, no. oh, let's do it again! Can we do it again? <laughs> that was so good! Oh my god! <laughs> I thought that was the main entrance, and that's obviously the exit. Oh! <laughs> let's, let's go again. <laughs> Oh, so good. <laughs> it went up and down, up and down. <laughs> oh my god, I'm so excited. <laughs> Our day here at Science Park, and it's been so good. Had fun. It's so good. Better than I thought it should be. And I yeah. Think it's been great. Yeah. It really exceeded our expectations. We had so much fun. We went around the Lazy River three times. Right here. <laughs> we did Tower of Power one more time at the very end, and our favourites were definitely the new rides, weren't the they? Singer. Singer. And Karaka or something like that. Yeah. The two new ones. They were really good. Oh, here we go. These ones here. This one, Singer. I think that was my favourite. We're back on the bus and we're on the uh, top floor now. <laughs> oh, I've had such a good day. So good. Let's go back to the hotel. Just, just <laughs> eat some food. Let's sleep. A few cocktails. Peter <laughs> again. Yeah. Third night in a row. Thank you for carrying my towel. It's all crazy. <laughs> Ready for dinner. <laughs> all dressed up. Should we go? Thing. Yeah. Okay, so we are back. We've had dinner and we're currently on our balcony. We've eaten a little bit early. Well, have we? No, it was time half eight. Half eight, yeah. So we've got a cocktail and we might play cards again. We might, might watch. <laughs> I mean, we might. I, mean, I told you I'm struggling to do this today. This is your first cocktail. I know, I'm really bad. Square <laughs> We might watch Line of Duty. We finished season three this week, haven't we? Mm. Loved it. Mm. <laughs> if you haven't watched Line of Duty already, you must. It's hype, so good. The hype is real. The hype is real. We're on season four now and we are just season mind four, blown. Within a week of starting, I think. <laughs> Strong, Strong. We've had a lot of spare time though, haven't we? Anyway, we really loved Cyan Park today. What were your highlights? I don't know, like walking past everyone on the stairs. I'm not gonna lie, I did enjoy that. You should, you should kind of Fast like, um, passing um, everything. Avoid eye contact with the people that are just hating you as a like on their forty <laughs> fifth minute of queuing for the same ride. I really liked the new rides. I really liked having our all inclusive bands. They were really helpful. I was actually genuinely shocked how like fast the rides were. Yeah, they were very fast. Yeah. Tower Power was insane. Tower Power was rapid. Yeah, we went through the shark tank and when we did the Lazy River, we went through the tank as well. So you could actually see the people lot, coming through the rides. It's a lot slower as well when you do the Lazy River. Yeah. Through the tank. So you get to like properly have a look at all the sharks. Look at all the fish and the all sharks. The, all the buff. It was really, really cool. So that was pretty much our day. Thank you very much to Attractions Tickets Direct for working with us on this part of this vlog. It was so much fun and I really liked the ease of being able to book our tickets before we came out and printing them off and we had no problems, did we? We went straight through, they gave us a band. We don't have, it means you, just like, you can concentrate on having your holiday. Your holiday is your holiday. Yeah. You don't have to be doing all this organisation when you're trying to yeah. run around. And, and I like the fact it was flexible. We could pick what day we wanted to go. So we were potentially going to go yesterday. But we didn't, we switched it up and went today instead. And I'm really, I really like that flexibility. I'm actually going to be doing a tips video over on Attractions Tickets Direct YouTube channel. So when that's live, I will tweet it out and I'll link it below. So don't miss that. And I guess until next year, mm. we'll come back. Yeah. I'd do it again, would you? 100%. Mm. 100%. So yeah, we're going to drink our cocktails and have a lovely evening. So we'll see you tomorrow. Good morning. We've got a pretty good mix of music around the pool today. I quite like it. Little pot of fruit. And this is a lemon fanta. It's so nice. So we've moved to the quieter pool up here. And I am reading my trashy magazine. Can't wait. And I'm painting my nails. So they're looking a little bit chipped. <laughs> um, so I'm going to repaint them. 
and I've got a slush puppy and a coffee because I couldn't decide what I wanted. So that's the beauty of all inclusive for you. And she's just reading the book next to me. There he is. Happy days. I have actually dried and straightened my hair today and I'm wearing my favourite Lipsy play suit. My favourite. We're gonna play Uno on the balcony with our Copperbergs, aren't we? That's right, standing. You can go around if you want. What are you playing? Jersey Boys. Jersey Boys. Nice. Hello, I haven't vlogged for a couple of days for the sole purpose of the fact we've just been relaxing and not doing a lot, haven't we? It's been nice. It has it's been, been nice really just nice. To, just to chill. Yeah, we've done a lot of reading and listened to our podcast, swimming, and she played. Uh, but beach volleyball today. Beach volleyball today is absolutely awesome. Yeah, and we've just spent the last hour or so in a little bar across from my hotel because the football was on and I wanted to do some editing. So I've actually edited half this vlog, which is great um, because it's Saturday today. We are going to be travelling all day tomorrow and it goes up Monday. So we've had a really nice couple of days and we've done a lot of playing cards on the balcony and we finished Line of Duty, didn't we? Oh my god. <laughs> So we finished it, we season watched, four. We watched like an episode a night, like after after dinner. Yeah. And then we've been watching it before we go to bed at night, and we've been enjoying the it. Day and stressing out and trying to work <laughs> it out. And we already googled like when season five. <laughs> um, but I now know, I don't know how we're going to cope until 2019. I know, no, 20, season five. Is it 2019? 2019. It'll be out, yeah. Oh my god! All right, we're going back. I'll talk to you when I'm in the room. I haven't talked about this yet, but I'm going to now, so I can give you a honest opinion. But you see this hotel opposite us here this is being renovated as you can see it is empty throughout and it's having a complete gutting and refurb until January next year we were told about the noise and we got the option to move hotels if we wanted to but we had to find one that was free and we specifically booked this hotel because we wanted something that was adults only all-inclusive near the sea um, that had you know a big pool like it had things for us to do so we couldn't really see anything else that was free where we could swap so we thought we'll just come out and we'll try and just see what it's like they only gave us three days notice as well yeah Three less no, less than that. It's not that bad. I've already had my mum say that her best friend's daughter is coming out and staying in this exact same hotel, Small World, and she's already asked what it's like. So, just in case, this is obviously the Hovermer Hotel, Costa a day K, and it's not that bad at all. I mean, yes, there is noise during the day. It is quieter down at the Heart Shape Pool, but that's because they do have music playing and it is a bit more lively around there. And we've just been wearing our headphones, so I have noise cancelling headphones, so I couldn't hear anything anyway. Um, but you don't, and yours right, have been fine. fine. It kind of is what it is. It hasn't spoiled our holiday. We've still had an amazing time. I don't think it, our holiday would have felt any different with or without it, in my opinion. But, yeah, I just thought I'd put that out there because a lot of people have already asked me. So The only weird thing with that is the echo. Yeah, it echoes through the hotel, so that's why we were joking the other night because they said downstairs, they were like, is anyone from Wales? And it just, the word Wales just echoed over and over and is we there, just found it is so funny. From Wales? Yeah, Wales. Wales. <laughs> no music playing, it just echoed, we were crying so much. It's not even funny when you say it like that. <laughs> it's now seven o'clock, we are gonna freshen up and get ready for dinner. It's our last night, I'm so gutted. I didn't film many of our, we went to an a la carte restaurant here too so there was a nice ocean blue I think it's called like fancy pants restaurant um there's loads of pictures on my Instagram so what I haven't vlogged there's pictures of on Instagram I did pictures in the pool today with like a watermelon ball so this holiday has been a bit of a mishmash in terms of vlogging because we definitely wanted to vlog Zion Park and we wanted to film clips to show you and for memories for us um but I hope you've enjoyed it anyway so now we're just gonna enjoy our last evening and I guess we'll see you tomorrow. Good morning or afternoon now because it is five past, no, five past 12? Yeah, it's five past 12 and we are in the airport in Tenerife. Um, we've just found out we're delayed so I don't actually know where our gate is yet but we just had Burger King so that's literally pretty much one of the only options here. But we land half five-ish now and then we should be home about half nine. So it's a bit of a long day of traveling, but we're feeling good. We're sad to have left. We were both having breakfast this morning, like, hey. <laughs> But 
Uh, yeah, we've had an amazing time, so we're just gonna get ourselves home now. <laughs> it's gonna be a long day, isn't it? We both got work tomorrow. I start at eight, you start at what, five, six? Yeah. We will catch you later. now Monday and I just wanted to round up and end this vlog uh, because I'm gonna get that up today so I hope you enjoyed seeing our little holiday and I had an amazing time we loved our hotel we love Tenerife I've actually been to Fortaventura, Gran Canaria and Lanzarote so I've done quite a lot of the Canary Islands and the best thing is is that it was hot the whole week we didn't have any rain it was like 20 Five to 28 degrees most days so it was really nice and the best thing about the Canary Islands as well is because um, they're like volcanic islands they have a slight breeze so you don't ever feel too sweaty and hot because you've got that nice breeze coming through when you're sunbathing but we have both caught a little bit of tan I don't know if you can like actually tell but <laughs> tan, tan strap lines tan lines I'm probably gonna get a bit soppy now but I had an amazing time with Benj and we didn't argue once like we don't generally argue anyway but we didn't have any bickering we didn't get bored of each other we loved each other's company we actually had 10 days solid together the the holiday was a week long but we had like the weekend um before together too so that was so nice and he works away during the week quite a lot and to have that time just us at the beginning you know so early on in our relationship has just been really precious and the memories we created were amazing we laughed so much we had drinks every evening we had really good food um, and we just really enjoyed just chilling and zoning out and I think we escaped at a time where, you know, a lot went on in the UK last week, um, which I'll end up probably talking about in my weekly vlog, not really time and place for now, but uh, we just kind of got away at a time that was really perfect and we both really, really loved it. So I feel very like butterfly -y because it feels so nice to have met somebody who's so like me and I really learned a lot about Benj on our holiday like lots of little things he likes and doesn't like and little mannerisms about himself that just make me smile and no one else really gets it I guess unless you're like in that bubble but it was just lovely so Benj if you're watching which I know you are thank you so much for an amazing holiday I will treasure it forever and I can't wait for our next holiday which I don't know when that will be I would love to hope that we can do Disney um maybe Paris I'd love to do Disneyland Paris with Benj he's a massive Disney fan too so that's ideal and then in the future I'd love to be able to do what Disney World with him we also talked about uh, we'd love to go to Oz one day. He has family that live out there, so we'd love to do that. But that's obviously quite a big and expensive trip. Um, and then we want to do a couple of little cities. So Prague is on our list. Uh, I really want to go to Dublin, do a bit of Ireland. If we do Disneyland Paris, we'll also do Paris because Benji hasn't done it. So we'll do the Eiffel Tower and do all the touristy things there as well. So we've got lots of big ideas and plans and dreams. My next trip will actually be Croatia next month. I'm doing a sailing holiday. So you will be sure to see that. I'll be vlogging that as well. Um, and yeah, I just ugh, had the best time, I had the best holiday. I just, I'm gutted it's over, but honestly, it felt like we were away so long. I felt like it was a two week holiday. That's how long it felt. So I'm really pleased because I feel like I really got away and relaxed. And I thought a lot about life and things that bother me and kind of let them go a little bit. And I'd like to get myself back on a bit more of a healthier eating pattern again. Now I've overindulged. So I'd love to get back into the gym start looking after my body a bit better, cook some more meals. Um, I thought a lot about my channel, my blog, and what direction I want to take it in, and brands I want to work with, and subscriber numbers and goals I'd like to reach. I loved reading on this holiday. I finished Holding Up the Universe by Jennifer Niven. That was such a good book, and I've started The Sky Is Everywhere. So I really want to try and make some time to read again as well and yeah i'm just feeling really refreshed and good about myself i don't know if that's like an after holiday buzz that you kind of get but i'm feeling good i don't actually mind going like back to work today because i'm in the right frame of mind and i'm feeling good and uh yeah i'm in an amazing place at the moment i feel very happy lucky and very blessed and uh 
uh, this holiday was really quite special so yeah i'm gonna shut up now thank you so much for watching please subscribe if you're not already make sure you check out my instagram which has got all the pictures as well you might have missed don't forget i'm going to do a tips for cyan park video on attractions tickets direct to youtube channel so i will tweet that out when it's live and link it below i will also link them below if you want to buy tickets for pretty much anywhere for anything like they do so many different tickets for so many different attractions all over the world so do check them out if you're going away not just tenerife obviously like i said florida they do tickets for there as well so they're a really really awesome company and uh, i really enjoyed working with them which is it's been cool because we were going to go to cyan park anyway so really really fun thanks again i will see you very soon bye